ISPs who don't and won't aggregate are generally held in poor regard by the internet operations community. The regional internet registries publish their minimum allocation sizes. The time of making this recording, for all registries, the minimum allocation for IPv4 was a slash 24. And for IPv6, it was a slash 48 for an assignment, basically going to an end user, or a slash 32 for an allocation, which is what goes to a network operator. Until 2010, there really wasn't any reason to see anything longer than a slash 22 IPv4 prefix in the internet. But now, it's quite likely that the IPv4 runout is having a serious impact on the internet routing table and is determining what ISPs are announcing to the global internet. So what happens if aggregation is not properly done on the internet? We will now show you an example of what happens if aggregates are not properly announced. As you can see on the screen, a customer has been assigned a slash 23 network from AS100's slash 19 address block. You see that only AS100 announces the customer's individual networks to the internet and not its aggregate. What happens when the customer link goes down? Their slash 22 network becomes unreachable and is withdrawn from the AS100's IBGP. Since their ISP doesn't aggregate its slash 19 network block, the slash 23 network withdrawal is announced to its peers and this starts rippling through the internet. This causes added load on all internet backbone routers as the network is removed from routing tables. When the customer link returns, their slash 23 network is now visible to their ISP and is re-advertised to peers. This starts rippling through the internet again and adds a load on internet backbone routers as the network is reinserted into the routing table. Some ISPs suppress the flaps and internet may take 10 to 20 minutes or longer for this network to be visible. This means that quality of service is not guaranteed for this network. In the good example, for example, imagine the same example where the customer has a slash 23 network assigned from the same AS100 slash 19 block. In this scenario, AS100 announces its slash 19 aggregate to the internet. If the customer link goes down, their slash 23 network becomes unreachable and is withdrawn from AS100's IBGP. The slash 19 aggregate is still announced to the internet, so there are no BGP hold down problems or propagation delays, as well as no damping by other ISPs. When the customer link returns, their slash 23 network is visible again and re-injected into AS100's IBGP. The whole internet becomes visible immediately and the customer has quality of service perception. In conclusion, the good example is what everybody should do as it adds to internet stability as well as reduce the size of the routing table. This reduces routing churn, thereby improving internet QoS for everyone. Bad example is what many ISPs do due to either lack of knowledge or laziness. This must be avoided.